What's going on guys? Dallas here and in today's video we're doing a video on the top 10 best 1.10.2 mods for Minecraft 2019 coming up. So number 10 on the list is the CoFH Core mod. It is a, people would say it's an add-on, some people say it's a mod. It adds in a couple of extra items into the game. It ends in a couple, like a couple 10, I believe, about 20, I believe. It has some good ones in there. I didn't know about it. I had it installed in my mods, and I was trying to figure out where these blocks came from. I couldn't figure it out. Now, number nine on the list is chance cubes. They are a, they're a mod that adds in chances, or pretty much what the name is, chance cubes. It can do anything to you in, in Minecraft. It can even create a flying island somewhere up there in the sky that you can live on. So this is what you can get when you, you can run around your world and you can find chance cubes. Let's say you're running around this world, you can actually find it, find chance cubes. And when you come up to them, there's a chance there's a bad drop or a good drop. Now you need the lucky, you need the chance cube scanner to tell what chance it is. Currently chance is zero, so it's lucky or bad one. So let's click, hit it, come sail away. And it's a boat. So that was what the, they could do pretty much anything. Chance cubes are pretty much a mod that can do anything. See, look at that water there. We'll open one more. You got a creeper holding a hoe and a sword with no arms. And last one, a book. Books of memes. Pretty much, it's been updated. And then if you get nine normal chance cubes, you gotta have silk touch pickaxe to pick them up, and you get a giant chance cube. A giant chance cube. Um, I hopefully it doesn't affect the track over there, but let's hope it breaks open fine. Dallas King has been. Oh no. It's raining TNT. And like that, this island is pretty much toast. That's what the giant chance keeps you. Now, the hike, the, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this word, the chance cube, hyperscope heaver, it is, well, you can tell by that, negative 100 chance. It's going to spin, and it, last time I did this, it crashed my computer, so let's hope it doesn't crash again. We op me and Dinson opened like 20 of these at once, uh, we regret that, because our whole entire world's gone. Uh... Okay, luckily we were non survival luckily we were in we were in survival. So pretty much that's what all that's what chance cube mod adds in. It adds in It adds in all three of these and a couple other ones. You can get anything from these. Like the little one again. That is a hole to the void, which actually is a prank. The giant one The giant one just puts us in a bubble, and the giant one just put us in a bubble with zombie pigmen. So yeah, it can pretty much do anything. It can, work, it can be good for your world or bad for your world. And last but not least, these are the worst ones. The chance cube hiders, they are just perfect for destroying. They are terrible for getting loot out of. For instance. Let's see what it dropped. Oh. I stand corrected. Chance... One of the table, one of the enchantment table. So yeah, it can pretty much destroy your world, or add something into it, like that. So that was chance cubes. Let's now number eight on our list is backpack mods. It adds in pretty much what the mod's name is: backpacks. You can have big backpacks, little backpacks, any color backpacks. They store your materials that you can get. I think there's one that can actually store your food. They are really useful for mining. Well, what Dinton says, they are really useful for mining. So let's move on to the next one. That's pretty much it for this backpack mod. Let's go to the next one. Now number seven on our list is block armors. It is a mod that adds in block armor. It adds like every block in Minecraft is armor. Wood, to cobblestone, to even oak wood, to sand, to sponges, to jungle leaves. 
even glass. You can pretty much make it, you can even make carpet armor. It adds in every single block in Minecraft a armor. They are really good. See this one right here gives you flame resistance. This one, time control. Even command blocks right here actually. And if you, and also there's some other ones. The sugar bike leggings, sugar brick leggings, speedy, and chocolate. All these block, all these block armors have special abilities. For oakwood chest plate, it has regrowth. For sponge, it has absorption, glass, invisibility, dispensers, arrow defense, and the and the TNT ones, it explodes, of course. The ice chest plate, actually the whole ice armor, you have to have it on. Frosty and slippery. Then you also got auto smelts. If there's something in your onslaught, like down here, it will melt it. Smelt it, I mean. And I believe the best one here is obsidian. Yep. This is the best uh, armor is obsidian. So let's say I want to make, uh, let's say, okay, this is how you make it. So pretty much however you make normal armor is how you craft armor. I just had crafty tables in my uh, in my uh, inventory, and this is pretty much how you make the block armor. And now let's put it on. Now since I've crafted the armor, it's pretty weird. It's pretty funny how he just takes a crafting table and puts it in this. But some of them have special abilities. For this one, if you press R, it's a crafting table. See, there's no crafting table around. And I just press R, and I'm in a crafting table. And I can pretty much craft, like, if the armor's about to break, I can craft another piece. Pretty much like that. So that was block armors. Now we're to move on to our next one. Now number six on our list is Modern Warfare. YouTube, please do not, YouTube, it's not that kind. Now this mod adds in armor, special kind of armor. You can see that you have night vision goggles. It adds in weapons. It adds in weapons, like a scar and an HK. I think they even have. I think they have every single gun in Minecraft. I think they even have. Yeah, they even have every gun in Minecraft. Snipers, animation. I mean, ammunition. They even got grenades. For the grenades, it's pretty cool. You right click, it tells you in the far right hand corner how much time you have to throw it, and it explodes like a normal grenade. Puts a little bit of hole, like a four block hole in it. The animations in this pack, in this mod, are really cool. So let's grab this M4, let's grab this M41A, let's see what kind of ammunition does it take, it takes a 1024M, there we go, let's get a couple of those. Yeah, let's get one of these. It takes a 300. We got a 300. I guess that's a 300. And if we get the gun in our hand. It is doesn't look like that cool when you have it in your hand like this, but it's really cool when you go into your first person. So you right click to zoom in. You press the magnet key to reload. They aim at where your target is and fire. And there goes a cow. There goes the chicken. For instance, if you just hold it down. It acts like a real gun. And then you got the M8. Let's load this one up. And let's sort of zoom in and let's fire. It is a cool mod. The animations are cool. When you run with the, mod, when you run with the guns, the animation is just cool. When you throw the weapons on the floor, it looks like it's actually on the floor. Of course, you got the Minecraft spinning like every block does. So that's two of the guns, and there are several hundred guns in this pack. Including, you can add scopes to your, you can add scopes to your weapons. You can add scopes to your weapons. Actually, you can add anything. You can add skins, anything on your weapons. If you have a uh, sniper, if you have a sniper, you can add one of those weapons, one of those uh, stands on it. The armor's pretty cool too. Cool, I got full SWAT armor on. It gives me some good armor bars. 
It gives me some pretty good armor bars, about just as good as, uh, as iron, but better because it's SWAT armor and it has way more detail. As you can see on the back, my uh, back of my uh, hoodie, I think that's what it's called. It's kind of out because the pixels are out. So this is what SWAT armor looks like. There's some armors like Juggernaut that do slow you down. So pretty much if you guys want to play like a Halo battle, like Battle Royale, Fortnite, Halo, Call of Duty, uh, PUBG or any kind of games like that in Minecraft, you can pretty much play with this. And it's actually pretty dang realistic. So that was the Modern War War Warfare mod. Now let's move on to the next one. The next up on our list is Railcraft. It adds in a lot of trains and newer, a lot of tracks. It even adds in a steam train. So what the mod adds in is a couple extra stuff like Minecraft. You got, you got to have a steel crowbar. You can make a train. There's some steel armor. Newer tracks, I believe. You got cracked fire stones. New blocks, a lot of new blocks. You got ores you can go down to mine and find. And when you type in tracks and you want to make tracks, these are the tracks it adds in. And I don't mean just one, I mean several. You even got the tracks that can launch you up. The launchers, they launch you straight up in the air, which is pretty fun. Now, the mod is, if you get, if you go, you, you won't find the trains here. You have to go all the way over and go to miscellaneous. You gotta go over here and go to transportation. So the mod adds in a lot of more transportation vehicles and a couple of good mining trains. So this one right here is called the Tunneler. As you can see here, it did this. It created the track and it dug a tunnel straight through. When you put it down, it is not a machine to be messed with. Now when you right click on the train, you gotta put a head of the, of the front of the train up there so it can drill. Now you put tracks in down here and the fuel is, and the fuel is coal coke. Don't get that mixed up with Coca-Cola. The fuel is, you just put the fuel in right here, you put the tracks in right here, oh no, it's going. Yeah, I don't want that digging straight through because I already have the tracks laid out and it will end up right here. So pretty much it digs, it does it put the, the blocks in its inventory, in its uh, onslaught, you have to go behind it and pick it up. Now this is a train. The train runs on the block, coal coke, it's pretty much just used to power the train. Now you put the train in idle to run it, currently it's full on pressure on steam. So we're going to put it in running and we're going to let it go forward and we're going to stop it here. Now it's going to sit right here and the right to make your minecart sit with it is you grab this little steel crowbar and you shift right click it and you click link started and you break the link if you want to start it says start link, create a link. So now those two are attached. Let's say you want to add a work cart to it. Then you hold shift, right click, right click, created. If you, this has, I think you put about 100 carts on it. My world is not that happy with it. And it pretty much creates what it, it just creates a train, a full on long train. Now there's other carts you can make. There's like about five others, I believe. You got the cargo cart, and you got the redstone, pumpkin, gift cart. Who we'll put that on there? Put that on here. And there's two other trains. Now there's two other trains in the mod. They pretty much are electric trains. They take nothing except for electricity. And if you, dang it. And if you get the this one, it ha takes no electricity, and you just press run, and it runs. Oh, no, come back, come back. Oh no, we have an issue. We have a runaway. Yeah, I'm not that great with these kind of train mods. There we go. Yeah, these train mods are fun, but you have to know what you're doing or else something could, could go wrong. So right now we got our crafting, we got our work crafting table. We should put a couple cargo ones in. So shift, right click. That wasn't shift, that was tab. There we go, created. Now let's do it for this one, created. Now we can add a pumpkin cart. It's made out of wood, so you don't have to worry about wasting iron on it. Created. Now let's add a gift cart, and that requires a crowbar. Let's add in one more cart, and we got us a train. So you can see we got us a little train. 
pretty good for the long train. Now, you might be wondering, what is this called track layer? Now, the track layer is pretty much how I built the track. So, what do you do is, you get your track, you want to put in your any kind of track that can be laid. You put your track in there, and you put your stock. Now, if you break, if, if you come across like a track like this, and there's no tracks, and you push it, and you get the train to push it, so let's get in the let's get in the cart, and let's have the train slowly push it. You can see it's pulling all the carts, and we have the train pull it, push it, and it's putting down tracks. Pretty much what it's intended to do. Now let's stop the train real quick. As you can see here, it lays the tracks. And you just put the front train, you break it, you get the train back, and you lose a couple tracks because they get placed down. Well, actually, you don't even lose them. So you see we got a nice long train, and let's go for a little train ride. So I'm going to take the brakes off. I'm going to leave it at running. And you can see it takes water. You wait for it to fill up. It can go reverse, forward. And let's put it in full speed. It's a little hard to see. That's why I wish I, I forgot to put the train in the back. It goes, it can, if there is a mob in its way, I think it, yeah, like this one, it can hurt mobs or anything, like anything in the way. Now, as you can see here, we have it all the way going. It's using up the water actually pretty fast. And the way you add water, you just put a water bucket here and it adds it. When the water gets to a certain point, like like a thousand, I believe, then it re-puts the water that's already there back into its uh, storage. So let's see when it drops down to five thousand. Is it happening anytime soon? I don't think it's gonna happen. Any there we go. See, it fills it up. Now it's next out here, and you can see we're going on a little track I made. There, that was a test track down there. Now this is the one, I don't know what happened there, but if you see right here how it has ziggy zaggy tracks, it goes straight across them. Now we're going to go back and see what happened because I have absolutely no idea what happened. Now let's stop the train, let's put in park. Now let's see, do we have all of our coaches? Oh, you can also jump on the coaches and walk on them. We are missing three coaches. I believe I've heard that the trains can blow up. Um, I guess that's what happened to the pumpkin cart. The pumpkin cart's a trick or treat, I believe it is, which um made it do that. Splash potion regeneration. So it broke the connection with our carts right here. But it doesn't destroy your track, it just does like a Halloween thing, like a trick or treat. Now there's one more track train I forgot to show, it's the tank train. You put in water, you need to put a filter in there. So if your train needs water and you're going on a long distance and you have a full on long track you want to create, and you have a huge line of trains all set up, you just put the water cart right behind here, you can put like several of them, and you can put a, coal, you can put a cargo cart and fill it up with coal. And then put a long line of track layers and just let it go. You can ride in the back of it also. So that was the Railcraft mod. It's a pretty fun mod as you can see. I'm going to be messing around with this mod a lot in the future. Now let's move into our next mod. The Morph mod. It's a fun mod to mess around with. You can go, you can do pretty much anything with it as long as you get the morph for it. So for instance, I'm in creative mode, so you have to bind your keys, but my my keys are different than your keys. Now it's entering the morph mod, you can select any morph, including blocks. There's boss morphs. I don't know why the zombies in there. You can morph into any mob. So let's select the morph. Let's do let's morph into a chicken. So let's enter morph. Let's click morph. And as you can see here, my little hands a chicken. Now we have five. I'm a chicken. You can play hide and go seek with this anywhere in your world. I think I can even write. It even acts like a chicken. So if I try to hop into a minecart, like let's do this, I'm in a minecart. Now the fun part about this mod is this mo it is this one right here. You can go down to block morphs and you can select a block. There's only a certain amount of blocks you can choose. So let's do one that's around. Grass block. Let's move into that. 
and I'm a grass block. And if we walk up into this block right here, it's a little, you can tell that it's a morph. You don't want to be like OP and hide in like the best spot in the world. Like if you hide here, someone that isn't that good at looking can actually not tell. If we hop over to the mod morphs, we can hide a stone. Let's morph into that. The morphing is actually pretty cool too. I believe the stone is the hardest to tell. Because I'm going to be using this in a lot. Yeah, like stone is the hardest to tell. You just have to get it lined up perfectly. It doesn't line up perfectly. But you can pretty much use this as your advantage to hide from people or anything. You can do hide and seek with this. Or you can just prank your friends or do anything with it. But they have to have the mod installed. Alright, so our next mod, number three, is Lots of Foods. What Lots of Foods adds in is pretty much what the name titles. It adds in a lot new blocks, well, candy blocks, and a lot more food. There's even a new fruit. You can get a strawberry, a grape, a tomato. Then you got sugary candies. Like, you got candy, banana ice cream, chocolate, donuts, cakes. And a lot more cakes. And a pack, man. And then you got drinks, you can get drinks, green tea, black tea, white tea, coffee, hot cocoa. And then you got sandwiches and soups. So that's what lots of foods adds in. And also you get different effects from different foods. This one for candy, it gives you a random effect for five seconds. Now number two on our list is super ores. What super ores add in is these are ores that you can go out and it's, when you load in your world that is modded. And you go load new chunks. There are going to be these new ores. They're not going to replace vanilla ores. They're going to keep, they're going to be more added than normal ores. So you get coal, super coal, super iron, super gold, super diamonds, and super redstone and lapis lazuli. When you come over here, when you melt a diamond, it gives you when you melt a coal, coal ore, super coal, you get coal, twelve coal. For iron, super iron, you get six iron. For super gold, you get six gold. For super diamonds, you get five diamonds. For eight, for super redstone, you get eighteen redstone. For super lapis lazuli, you get twenty-two. It pretty much adds it in, and looks like our riots here. Well, perfect timing. All right. For instance, if you come over here to this ravine that we loaded in, you would have right here. There's already super iron ore on the surface, and then you got super coal, a lot of super coal. You see, you got your normal coal, super iron. <clears throat> super iron ore and if you dig down I believe there is a lot more it is look ready super iron ore when we broke down look at that super gold and we're not even that far down super redstone super lapis lazuli and super coal and okay that was for the other mod yeah there's a lot more this super ore adds in a lot more a lot more mods look it's a lot more we found a cave and it's covered in super ores see so it helps with your survival series if you're in your survival world at all. It helps with it severely. And I use it a lot. It's pretty it's a pretty cool mod. And before we get to number one, please like and subscribe and not let me know that you guys like the content I upload and that make that lets me know to do more of it. To, it keeps me motivated on this since I've been doing it for about a year now. Almost a hundred videos. So I'll give you guys five seconds to like and subscribe, and five, four, three, two, one. Alrighty, now we got our way. Now, number one on our video is the replay mod. It is a mod that replays, it's actually replay, everything is replay. It replays what you've seen. Now, this is my third attempt trying to record this, so I'm not going to be that, it's going to be really short. I have tried several times, but I keep on hitting my hotkey end, which is also a hotkey in OBS to stop the recording. So yay. So if you get a replay editor and you get a replay that you recently done, you can trim it, but already I but you don't really need to trim it. Now if you get a replay viewer, this is the world we were just in when we did the uh, super ores and lots of foods and everything else in. And this is it. Now this is replay mod, I'm using WASD to control myself, spacebar to go up, shift to go down. Scroll wheel on the mouse to go faster, not not your not your key that goes faster. You, so if you scroll down, this is how fast it goes. But if you scroll up, it goes pretty fast. 
Now this mod is pretty much a replay mod. So my character's there, right there. Whatever my mine, my whatever my uh, Minecraft, whatever mo Minecraft loaded in, that's what my wait this mod's gonna see. It's not that laggy, surprisingly. I'm not running a beefy computer at all, and it's running pretty well. See, it's pretty much takes every view, and also you can't you can also cheat and find caves and stuff. But if you see here, the uh, what's it called? The the replay mod isn't that like you can see here. You get that textures and stuff on that on that train are actually pretty smooth. Same with these torches. Everything is pretty smooth. I'm using WSAD. Okay, I'm gonna slow it down because I cannot take that speed. Now press T to get out of this, and you press this little play button to see what your keys are. If you want to change them, or if they're not working, then you probably got another mod that's conflicting with them, or any of your keys are probably conflicting with them, which conflicting means not working in my vocabulary. So these buttons right here, to change them, you actually you close this down, you press exit, and then exit again. Go to options, controls, go down here to the replay mod. It's gonna say on top like multiplayer, railcraft, like that. Replay mod, and you're gonna find your keys, and you can buy your keys. I can't find any other keys that aren't linked to a different key. It's really hard. My keyboard, it doesn't have that many keys anymore. So, we got that. Now we go back to put keyframes and stuff like that. Let's. Okay, so you're. So if wherever you want to start your recording, I'll say I want to start my recording right at about six minutes. Leave it at zero if you want to start your video at six minutes. At a time keyframe that that wherever this is, that's gonna start the recording off at. If you go back here, it's not gonna start the recording. I mean, not the uh, render. It's not gonna start the replay down here. It's gonna start where you have this right here. When you have that. Now, wherever your camera is, like this, at position keyframe, that is where your camera is. Now we exit out, and that right there is the camera. Now we gotta be careful because whatever slight moment movement I do it will do in the camera so let's say right here we want another one so we so let's move over this little bit into time and you press your you press your key they have uh, listed for it mine's alt so it's gonna be a little bit quicker going forward in the timeline it's a lot faster than going backwards so we press alt okay alt and then we click position and time and then let's move down here whoop that's a little fast Let's put it right here. T, and we're gonna move it forward just a little bit more. Press your key that you use your hotkey. Camera thingy like that. All right, now we're gonna press exit again, and we're gonna go down this tunnel. And we're gonna end it right up. Okay, we have to be careful. If you wanna go up and you are at a straight line, do this. So you're here, timing position, and you got this. Let's move actually a little bit closer. Now we press, now we go Alt, which is right on the keyframe we just made. So we're gonna go again. And now if we wanna make one, we're gonna go all the way up here and end it off up here. So if we press T again, position the keyframe. Now we press play to see what we have created. If you want the full effect, you just press FN and F1. Now here's what we've created. It's a little fast, it's a little slow. It's not that good because we only spent like 20 seconds on it. Now we're gonna go down the tunnel pretty fast. The cow is floating in the tunnel, I don't know why. And now we're gonna go right, right against the tracks. And now we're gonna go up in the air. And that is what's gonna render. If you render it, you, whatever you do, it's gonna render differently. To change it up and to get more like um, make it go faster and slower, you just drag them, you just drag these things, and you must drag whatever you want your timeline to go faster. You move your timeline. If you want your camera to move faster, you move your your camera. Top one is camera because it's a circle. Bottom one is your time because it is a hourglass. Remember that. That is how everything works. Or you just go right time, left cam. That's another way to remember it. It isn't that good, but it's also another way to remember it. Now it's gonna be like a 10 second long animation. Now we press play. It should be like a 10 second, it should be really fast. So one, two, 
So it's pretty fast. There's me filling up the train, and then we're gonna fly down the tracks. Don't worry about it not loading in some of the chunks like that just happened like I got rid of the chunks. Don't worry about that, it will render it. Now press X and click save as if you want to save yours. As you can see here, I test this is how you tell that we actually had something before this video. Now this is what I created originally for the um, video. This is the original one that I created. This is be this is the video be this is the original video before the video got ended and I didn't save it that well. This is what we originally created. It shows the timeline and the keyword not keywords, the timeline and the camera positioning. We fly down the tunnel and we end at the very end of the tunnel. And we turn left. I I turn the camera left on accident because I turned it left in the tunnel. And we end it right here. So that's pretty much what we did. I think the first one was pretty good. But you have to press X to save it. You save as. Don't overwrite stuff. I don't recommend it. it. It's terrible. Now, to render it, click this little flash drive thingy. Render path. Go with MP4, 128720, and 22 frames per second. Mess with your frames for your frame rate and your settings. I recommend 128720. If you don't have a beefy computer, don't. Don't do 19, 9, 920 by 1080, I believe it is. Don't do that if you don't have a beefy computer, or unless you know your computer can handle it, and you're willing to waste or you wait overnight for it to get done. So that's my recommendation. And another thing is, if you scroll down here, you have the chance to do a uh, green screen, as in if, your ca if the camera is going to like a green screen, you can add a different screen to it. It's a lot more, you can add a yaw, pitch, or roll, that means the camera turns and stuff. Or you can do 360 video. And if you want to do a 360 video, let me know down below in the comments if you want a 360, on how to do a 360 video. I can show you guys how to do it, it's pretty fun. I don't really upload them to YouTube, I like messing around with them on my computer. But that's pretty much what you do, you press render, output file, you go to your uh, local disk, so I'm gonna go to Dallas. Um, Let's go to desktop and let's go into the, which one should we go to? No, not that one, let's see, which one do we wanna to go to? Let's go into folder two. Uh, yeah, we'll just save it in here. And next thing you just gotta do is click render and it renders the video. I'm not gonna render out this video because it'll take too much time on my computer to do that. So I'm gonna render it overnight when I go to bed in about two minutes when this is done so hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe if you did hopefully i don't have to record it again because i accidentally pressed end key so hopefully i don't have to record this again so hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe and let me know which mod helped you and what you want to see next on this channel and i'll see you all next time bye